Now, Darby is really stupid, malevolent, and rich. So it will surprise none of you to discover in a future life, he'll end up in Congress. But this is my story, not his. With the trust fund babies under control, it's time to turn my attention to their sworn enemies, those greaseball kids. So, you must be pretty proud of yourself. You taught those rich scum a lesson. They're rich, weak bullies. It was easy. They picked a fight with me, and I showed them who was boss. And Gary got them to pick that fight, so maybe you'll show him as well. Gary's an even bigger problem. He'll have to wait. Hey! What's this throwback want? A haircut? A nice strong man to cuddle up to? Who knows? Jimmy Hopkins, right? My friend Johnny needs your help. Then tell your friend Johnny to come and ask for it. Nobody tells Johnny anything. Johnny Vincent does the telling. Well, he doesn't tell me what to do. Now beat it, greaseball. You're causing an oil slick. I said he needs your help, man. Do I look like a charity service? You're gonna pay for this. What is wrong with this place? Everyone here either needs help, wants to beat you up, or both. Well, you know who Johnny Vincent is, though, don't you? No, and I don't care. He's head of the greaser clique. Get friendly with him, and he could help you get to Gary. Yeah, maybe. I'll tell you something, Pete. This place blows. Tell me about it. Hey guys and girls, welcome back to the walkthrough. Isn't it quite ironic how Pete is the only person who really seems to, All good? Hey. you know, know what's going on and like have a bit of sense? Jimmy's going for the whole CBA. I, I can't help with that attitude. Oh wow, we're actually getting some manners for once. Although it's funny that like he's dissing the preps and he's actually wearing all their stuff still. Oh, what thing first to do? Better save this to make sure none of this epic awesomeness that I've achieved in the last couple of parts is lost. But I think I'll be sensible and go to class for once. And I'm doing quite well with the class so far. Food. I should be on, um, and that was nice of him. You might have noticed it's now Christmas! So, fun times ahead. Completely wrong time of year for me to be doing this part of the game, but you know. I think it's now... If I show you the map quickly, everywhere is completely covered in snow. And this ha this will be for the entirety of the chapter. And we've got this new area open now in, um... I'm not sure what you really call it. It's like the greasers hang out. One of the most desolate areas of town, I must say. Bullworth Fail is certainly more attractive as a place to go and hang out. In the prep's defence. But I think I'm on chemistry 4 now? Yeah. So... I shall attempt to endeavour. Does that make sense? I think so. Anyway, it sounds nice anyway. No, not now. I've got class. I'm going to be a good boy and go to class. And I think I'm going to get a change of clothes afterwards because I need a new image. It's a new chapter, new image, you know. The whole shebang. Please leave your assignment on my desk as you enter. Something that I bet Jimmy oh, hasn't done. Right. I didn't give one, did I? Oh, well. <laughs> Typical. The forgetful chemistry teacher. Not sure I want to trust a, a, a teacher who's always forgetting stuff attention. with giving me chemicals. What are what? you doing? Oh, for flip's sake! See, the, the bar is getting quite small now. Even so, I, I should concentrate. To be honest. Fascinating, isn't it? Ooh, come on. Good work. You have a future <laughs> in chemistry. I can't really imagine Jimmy being a budding chemist, to be honest, <laughs> after he leaves Bullworth. Keep up the good work. You're almost That'd be another interesting subplot, Jimmy's you exploits in the world of chemistry. You, I swear that all the science teacher oh, does during that is just walk around the class, it's like, let's see how many times I can lap the room whilst Jimmy does his you science experiment. You know it. Right. Let's get ourselves some swanky new outfit. Now, the, the greasers are the target of this chapter, but also it's Christmas, so I'm thinking we need some sort of hoodie. Some something, not a not shirt, because it's, it's too cold for that sort of thing. We need really a hoodie, maybe a, ha a hat. Let's see what we can get. Is that a jersey? I'll say it's a vest, isn't it? Oh, a hoodie. Hoodie might be good. Team zip up. Or what colour as well? Choices, choices. Astronomy club vest. And I've never, I've no idea why they give you the option to buy this. I mean, it it would be so unlike Jimmy to buy um, an astronomy club jack like vest. Maybe if he wanted to hang out with the nerds, but no one wants to be associated with the nerds. He'd do better than that. Because of course now, um, now that we're with um, the preps, now that we've got them under their control, we can go and hang out with them. They're like, hey. 
I like you. You haven't got money, but I like you enough. That'll do for now, anyway. Actually, I might as well go do Cook's Crush. This is quite interesting. And a fairly straightforward mission as well. Slightly scary in the way that she makes her advances on Dr. Watts, but you know. I'll let you watch the cutscene and you'll soon see what I mean. Oh, hey, kid! How do I look? Uh, great! <laughs> Who's the lucky guy? Dr. Watts! The chemistry teacher? Uh-huh. I don't know what it is about that guy, but every time I get a look at his bald head and manic eyes, I go all gooey inside. Okay, that's <laughs> enough information. Thanks. Yeah, it's true. Love is blind. I sure hope so. Hey, kid, I need you to do me a favor. <laughs> Dr. Watts doesn't actually realize that we're going on a date yet. <laughs> But we are, ha <laughs> ha, and I need to get ready. So, can you get me Ms. Phillips' perfume from the staff room? You know where that is, right? Oh, and I almost forgot, some candy and some sedatives. And for the sedatives, don't buy them, just look for them in the trash, ha, <laughs> yeah. Okay, I can do that. Good. <sighs> Gorgeous. <laughs> the way she says, I get all gooey inside, I mean, that's what she looks like, looks like on the outside. I don't want to think what she's like on the inside. I do feel sorry for okay. Dr. Watts, to be honest. He hasn't really got a choice in this matter, it would seem. Wait, am I up here? Am I... Oh, no, I'm downstairs. My bad. So we've got chocolates already. That's a start, at least. So, have we actually got a time limit for this mission? I don't think we've got a time limit. Right. Cause deliberate havoc. Oh, brilliant. Why not? <laughs> Okay, so sorry, I had a fight with. Who, 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 who did I hit? Oh, it's Algae. Sorry, Algae. I need to start fighting him near the actual teachers that they see him. Look at them, it's like Laurel and Hardy in the background now. Come on. Smack, smack, smack. Come on, come on, chase me, you stupid scientists. Oh, he's coming after me. Okay. I'm gonna run now. Oh. Come back here and hope the other guy will have won. Now he's still there. Why is he still there? Maybe, maybe I should insult him or something. Yep, he's moved away. Okay. I will now run into the staff room right in front of their eyes. <laughs> and yet they won't come in after me. They think, oh, he's in the staff room now. It's too late. That's how lazy are at Bullworth. They saw this like fair play to the student for getting into the staff room. And now I better run because they're still after me. Okay, that sounds a bit gay. But then again. That's his choice. <laughs> Big muscular prefect. Turns out to be homosexual. Breaking the stereotype there, it's good to see Rockstar. Right, now to get out of town to find some Actually, no, no, we just, just, just got the perfume. Whatever the other item was. I was I wasn't really paying attention to the cutscene, to be honest. Getting our lovely little bike. Wouldn't really advise riding in this weather outside the game, but you know, Jimmy. He's a tough knight. You've seen some of the stuff that he can take. I must say, it's not snowed at all up here in Liverpool. Like, everywhere else in the UK, it's snowed at least some point this winter. But I think, like, not, not until the last day of term, and the, the last time people actually, sorry, the least wanted time for snow to come, as it were. And there was a little bit of snow then. Otherwise, everyone else has got snow, and we've, we've had pretty much you none. Scare me, you know. Get off that, you lousy drunk! Why did he start suddenly having a go at me? I've done nothing wrong. I'm just opening a bin. It's it's not his bin after all. Maybe this is his turf. Whoa! I just pushed over a bin. Okay, now I'm probably going to be in quite a bit of trouble because I hit a cop. Okay, I need a bus stop to make my quick escape. I'm going the wrong way. No, go on, get out of it. Oh, I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay. Oh, God, not the boys. I was amazed I got away with that. That's the second time he would he caught me. Then he should have got me. But thank God he didn't. No, back to school now. Then back to Edna. As 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 much as I don't want to go back to Edna, but you know, 
Sadly, we haven't got a choice. Should be interesting to see how she now looks. All English for and I'm truancy as well. Brilliant. Just what needs to add to my record. The sooner I go and visit Edna, then the better. There she is. Oh God, this should, hey, this should Edna, be interesting. Hey, I got your stuff. Hey, Edna, you old bad. I got your stuff. Ha! Oh, whoa. How I look? <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> if I was 50 years older, I'd date you myself. Ah, thanks, kid. Ha! Where's the perfume? Right here. Oh, thanks. I needed that. I get so nervous before a date. Yeah, well, good luck, Edna. Hey, kid, wait! I need you to do me a favor. Another one? Yeah. What's in it for me? Ha! I won't spit in your food. Will you spit in Mr. Hattricks if I say yes? <laughs> for you, kid, I'll do worse than spit. Okay. <laughs> what do you want? I want to go on a nice date. Date with Dr. Watt. So go then. Have fun. Yeah. Well, you know what you kids are like. You see a beautiful couple out on a date, and you're bound to do anything to ruin it. You got a point. So listen. I need you to watch out for me and keep those disgusting kids away. Oh, my God, Edna. She looks, like, she looks like some sort of circus reject. I'm amazed that Jimmy managed to get away with that comment. I, I, I would have sworn she would have eaten, no eaten him or something. Hopkins. But that's all part of another mission where he goes to, uh, you know, assist in her date. An evening one, as it were. Oh, I forgot that I'm supposed to be in class, actually. I'll quickly say and I'll go do English quickly. Shouldn't you be in class? You better not be skipping school. Oh, God. Right in front of a view of Miss Danvers as well. Oh, right, what will the teachers say now? It's the last thing I need. Right, here we go. English 4. So, seeing as I'm, doing, seeing as I'm an English student, I'm quite surprised that I often find these right, rather difficult. You know the drill? To say the least. Do the assignment and be quiet. I'll just be sitting here drinking my tea. Drinking tea out of a bottle. Yep, he really thought that one through. Right, here we go. Start the basic ones. I, I, I love how he was, um... That's right. What's it called? Looking the other way whilst we were coming in. Just, like, talking to the blackboard instead. That's how interesting we well are as done. kids to him. He much... He, he preferred to talk to the blackboard. Honestly. Keep it up! A bit worried there that the music didn't start. I thought that's the Good last show. thing we need. As soon as we've got corn, Good sort of one. makes sense we could then go to do a corn. What next? Oh, crayon. That's always a good one. I'm afraid Damn it. Not English. I've got to press the lemon N. <laughs> it was all going so well. That's right. Or is always a good one. Keep it up. Either that or I was trying to think of some I could use with the word or in, but you know, it's Friday. I want to relax. I know, well, te te technically, this video is on Monday, but I'm making this on Friday. He ahead of time, ahead of schedule. That's what you know. My dedication to you guys. Well done. I don't know why I almost exited there. Good shot. I can't really pass with just 30% of the answers. <laughs> I don't know why I'm not doing the more simple ones. I'm not coy, corn. Good corn? one. Corn? Con. Helps if I can say the words. <laughs> Good show. Here's the awkward part where I can't find any answers. Oh, orca! Isn't that a type of like, or like a killer whale, isn't it? Not, not, not orca. Good one. Orca. Yeah, yeah. Thought so. Oh, come on, I need a few more now. How can I miss that so far? Can. Well done. Something that's so beautifully simple, like can. I'm just thinking, how can I make that out of these letters? You know what I mean. That's right! Worth a try with Nor. Wasn't sure if Nor would count, but there you go. Obviously does. Keep it up! <sighs> any more, any more. Oh bloody yeah, I'm running out of time. 
Oh, I've already done con. How about Koi, though? Would Koi work? It rings That's a bell. Fine. Yeah, I thought so. Oh, come on. There's a couple more. <laughs> I'm nearly there. Good one. Bloody hell. This is going to be tight. Good show. Is that it? 56%. Can I find any more? No. Keep it up. Thought so. That will do. Find out the reward of the well next done, part. James. Well done indeed. <laughs> See you then.